guys, it is haul time once again, and in this video I'm going to be showing you craft supplies and crafty things mainly, but there's also some random stuff because random is my middle name. Actually, it's Lynn. Anyway, let's get into the video. First, I'm going to show you a couple of my online purchases, and I'm really excited about these. I got... Pastel duct tapes. These are duck burn duct tapes and as many of you may know they are discontinued and I was really kind of bummed out about that. I ended up getting this pastel blue last year or whenever they were out and I was planning on going back to the store and buying more. As time went on I didn't see them and my phone is ringing and I'm not answering it because I'm filming. Now I have the entire pastel duct tape collection and I want to give a big thank you to Crafts by Daniela. She has two Instagram accounts, hopefully I'm not covering up the letters, and she has a YouTube. Love you too, Daniela. And I'll also put her links in the description box below. So I got these for a little bit cheaper than they would have been on eBay. She put a bow in there too, it's really pretty. Whoa, let me take you out. Duct tape bow. I don't know if she has any pastels left, but you can go check out her shop if you are interested and see what she does have available. Whoa, you're full. Secondly, I purchased from the Corner of Craft, so let me hold up the business card. That's a cute image. She has a blog spot, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I'll list all of her links in the description box below as well. The shop owner's name is Hannah and she is awesome. She has a YouTube channel and I really recommend that you check it out and maybe subscribe to her because I really enjoy the videos that she puts out. She puts out different craft videos and cooking videos and beading videos. From her I purchased this handmade beaded bow necklace. You guys all know how much I love bows. I mean they're kind of hanging on the um, closet doors right now. Do you like this? Maybe in some future videos I'll hang up signs that you guys have made. I'm gonna be moving in December. Oh, are you guys excited for that? Because I'll have my own crafting room. I know I am getting way off the subject of this video, but I'm so excited to be able to have more space and an actual filming room all to myself. Okay. I'm pretty sure you'll see me wearing this in an upcoming video and photo at some point. It's my favorite color and it's a bow and it is so beautifully made so again check out hannah's shop instagram and youtube thank you so much hannah for the beautiful necklace i love it so much a few weeks ago i went to walmart and you guys may have seen me post pictures on instagram because i did end up getting the fault in our stars book at that point so that picture was posted a long time ago if you want to follow me on instagram my instagram account name is sarah lynn t and if you want to show me a picture use hashtag so craftastic in the photo caption. I don't buy stuff just to make a haul. I actually save stuff up for a few weeks so I can film a haul, but these are actually things that I was planning on using and I want to have in my craft collection. These are really pretty neon colors. There's neon green, orange, yellow, and magenta. I got this loom knitting book and it was on clearance for $4. I know that I have another one of these books that's bigger and has more projects, but there's a few different things in here and it's really handy, it's so tiny. I wanted to have another reference because I don't know much about loom knitting at all, so I'm trying to learn as much as I can when I do get into the projects. I got a jumbo spool knitter and you can see that this one comes with pegs on the top and bottom and it's a different size and then there's a um, hook over here. It's just something a little bit different from the Wonder Knitter I got so I want to have another option. I got Pikachu! I was the biggest Pokemon nerd ever. I have such a huge Pokemon card collection. I would like go hunting for Pokemon cards at garage sales to get a good deal and I'd go to card stores. I'd trade with my friends. I was in the Toys R Us Pokemon League. I had the Game Boy games, the action figures, which I still have, all of that stuff. I'm not embarrassed. I'm not ashamed. I'm so proud to be a Poke freak. No, but seriously, uh, I still I still get really excited when I see Pokemon things. And now I have this shirt, and it's probably going to be more of a pajama shirt, but maybe perhaps I'll wear it in a video or something. I don't know. I got this wooden letter S to decorate and hopefully put in my new craft room when I move. Walmart has Bake Shop clay. They also have some other variety packs of Sculpey clay, but I wanted to try Bake Shop. It was only $1 for this block, and I just want to see how different it is from regular Sculpey 3. It's a little softer, which I actually really like soft clay, but we shall see how I feel about it. 
I got some duct tape and I wasn't even planning on getting duct tape but I looked in the aisles and they had all these really cool patterns. This is pretty exciting because as I mentioned in the beginning of the video pastel duct tape is discontinued but this is duct tape scents and they have a pink that is quite similar to the pastel pink. It's a little bit darker but I think that this is a really good alternative for those of you who can't get your hands on this pastel stuff anymore. I want to see if it smells good though. I'll let you know. Hold on. It smells like bubblegum. It smells so good. Now I can start to smell the tape. But initially when you first open it, it's like... I got another duct tape scent. It doesn't smell as good. It's a slightly more subtle scent, but it's frosting or cupcake or something. What is it? You're nothing. This is a really pretty color. It's actually kind of similar to my shirt right now. We're twins. We're twinning. I got these pattern duct tapes, and now I'm realizing that they're all floral in some way. And then I got this little pack of Crayola chalk. It is called Sweet Tooth, and it has four different colors. <laughs> While we're on the topic of duct tape, and I think this is the last roll, so don't worry about just seeing duct tape in this entire video, but I took my sisters to Justice to go clothing shopping. So they got a bunch of clothes, and I got some Halloween duct tape. Ooh. Oh, I skipped one thing from Walmart. It's a magnifying makeup mirror, and it rotates. This side is three times magnification, and this one is just normal from Walgreens and if you guys follow me on Instagram you probably have seen these a long time ago I got these really 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 cute folders there's a fox and a panda they're so cute they actually had a hedgehog too and I love hedgehogs but I really wasn't too thrilled with the hedgehog design I don't know I guess I'm picky I'm gonna put papers in that I want to put in. I also came across this vanilla and raspberry swirl candy and I'm really not big on eating candy. I literally got these weeks ago and I've only eaten like two or three of them and I will only eat like one per day. I'm so weird. I mean I guess that's healthy of me but yeah I'm just really not that big into candy and I think I would have liked them better if they were hard candy. And I got some of my favorite clear soul face wipes that I didn't take out of the bag because I like mega stuck up on these guys so I have a container or two in the bathroom already. I just got this because I know I go through them a lot and it's terrible when I forget to restock and then I don't have any. So I like, I prepare, I plan ahead, I plan ahead. That was really random, I know. There's some more crafty things coming up, don't you worry. Now for Michaels. Oh my gosh, we're shirt twins again, hold on. Now we're shirt triplets. Got some yarn for a project. And I'm really excited to start on this project so you guys will be seeing this soon or maybe it will have already been posted I don't know I got some of these black buttons buttons <laughs> really not much else to say and I got two containers of sprinkles really pretty gold ones and really brown brown ones I got two Mod Podge stencils because I thought that they would be really handy to have for certain projects and just kind of like a craft essential, like you want to have stencils, you want to have hole punches, you want to have glue. So I just want to add this to my collection. Also, I can never have enough really thin paint brushes, so I got these ones, which are really pretty as well. Finally, we have Tajay. I go to Target every single week, sometimes multiple times a week. I am a Targetaholic, and it's been that way for a really long time. I got these DIY do-it-yourself rubber bands. I really like the pastel pink color. I usually get Rainbow Loom brand. I am a huge fan, but I decided to try these because I love the color for one, and they were on mega clearance. Not really mega clearance, but they're $2.08 for a bag. And then I got this really pretty light gray color. I got some blue raspberry cake mix, and I don't really make cakes very often, or cupcakes, but blue raspberry is pretty much one of my favorite flavors ever. If I'm picking out like a sucker or a slushy or what else is there, Jolly Rancher, I just, I'm into blue raspberry. We are one. I'm really big into stocking up my game collection, so I bought this Mancala game that I had actually played a lot when I was younger with my friend. It's basically a marble game and whoever has the most marbles at the end wins. This game was on clearance for like $3 and it has a nice wooden game board. It goes like this and it goes like this. Bam. 
And actually yesterday I purchased this Trivial Pursuit Family Edition game. I'll probably like dip into the kids cards because I bet you the adult ones are going to be crazy ridiculously hard. My boyfriend and I really like to have game nights and we have a lot of fun playing like Boggle and Wii games. Oh speaking of Wii games, we got Rabbids Land and it's pretty fun, little mini games. We were really into Mario Kart 8 for a super long time, it's so fun. So I just always like to have fun little things to do around the apartment. I also got Divergent. I haven't seen this yet and I'm actually not going to watch it until I am on a plane again which will be sometime next month. So in that time I may have time to read the book which I got from Walmart and you guys probably saw this on Instagram. Yeah this happened. And the last thing which I'm really happy about I got these tennis rackets. One for my boyfriend and one for me. Oh, these are from Walmart. Oops. But anyway, there's a tennis court at my apartment complex. And I like to stay active and at least work out two to three times a week and do different cardio and stretches and, you know, stuff. Well, I've been having a lot of fun with this. And then we have this ball container of balls. So these are from Walmart. I know I went kind of out of order. But if you guys are looking for something fun and um, a good workout, then try to take up tennis. It's just, it's cool. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you watched this till the end, then leave a comment below. I don't care what it's about. Um, I just like to read through comments from people. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you soon. Bye. A jumble, jumbo wool? I got this wooden let at my apart apartment showing you Whoa. pastels. Woo! Hopefully, I don't hit the camera. I'm so lame. It's ridiculous.